Do this. Do that. Clean your room. You can't go over your friends tonight. These are all things that I'm willing to bet that your parents have told you at some point in your life. I'm also willing to bet that you went from being in a good mood to moderately to severely ticked off. From when we were about the ages of about 6 to 18, we feel as if our parents are always out to get us. Were you guys born at 19? I used to always ask my parents. Have you ever been a kid before? As much as our parents are very good at turning our smiles upside down, we do very often forget that they weren't born at 19 and that they have been in our shoes before. As our time at home is slowly winding down, it's time that we step back a second and listen to them from the standpoint other than a son or daughter. The things that they used to always harp on, such as getting good grades that will get you into college, being more responsible, and even being a good person are now up to you. Your parents aren't there to hold your hand anymore, and all of those things are up for you to decide. When your parents tell you to do well in school, we sometimes wonder why they care. It's not their grades. I know that I used to always say that, and I used to tell them it was none of their business how I did in school. I used to get into arguments with them that would usually just end up me crying in my room, and then followed by an awkward apology once I cooled off. That's not what you want. Thinking back, I realized that they only wanted to help me. Parents aren't the devil, usually. Our success in high school translates to college, which translates to our career, which ultimately is our full potential. From the moment we're born, our parents want us to be successful. That's their main goal. This is obtained by work ethic. Grades and work ethic are both crucial components that is our parents preach in life. But one other big thing that we often overlook is responsibility. Sometimes it's really hard to remember, but most of us are adults are going to be adults in the upcoming months. And as much as it stinks, it's time that we start taking responsibility. Here's a funny story for you. When I was 16, I had just gotten my license. I felt like a man. I, I wear sunglasses at night. I, put one hand on top of the wheel and I'd put my seat all the way back. <laughs> anyway, my dad went to the Cape on a Friday night and I was supposed to be heading down the next morning. He gave me one simple task, bring the dog with me. He said, well, before you leave, walk the dog, put the dog in the car, take the dog with you, get the dog out of the car, walk the dog, and then bring him inside. Well, I forgot. So I got to the Cape and I had to go all the way back. And I got home and my dog made a mess all over the house because someone didn't take him out. So, let's see, if I wasn't irresponsible, I could have avoided a six-hour car ride and picking up my dog's mess. Did anyone die? No, but trust me when I say you don't want to have to drive six hours to pick up your dog's mess. When our parents preach responsibility, it's because they care about us, not because they derive pleasure from our distress. Third, and maybe most important of all, is be a good person. A good person is usually a person that gets more friends, gets the promotion if they're a good worker, and according to studies, a good person is actually someone who's generally more happy in life. My dad always tells me what goes around comes around. Let's say you bullied young Samuel in elementary school. Maybe he's going to be the one that interviews you for a job one day and he's going to remember you. Obviously this is a little ridiculous, but you get the idea. Being a good person gets you respect from everyone, and in the end, isn't that what we want? Our parents just want the best from us, and being a good person is certainly the best way to get there. As our time winds down, I encourage you to remember these three things. Work ethic, responsibility, and being a good person. Thank you.